at first, you know, it seemed like everything was going to be great. You know, he, he took care of Angela. He took her everywhere. He played with her. Really a good father. And then I remember him saying to me that I was a federal agent working with the DEA, going after some of the baddest criminals out there, and now I'm home babysitting a baby. He was not able to let go of the job at all. And he had to focus that energy somewhere. And it was on us. And it was a living nightmare. So I used to get these flashbacks all the time. And that's what I think started me going into a spiral downhill. I came home, I was irritable to her. She said, you're not gonna bring that home to me. When she did say that, yeah, it started to hit like, I'm not who I thought I was. I mean, this job has changed me. So many police officers are not gonna admit that. He goes back after five weeks and it is still fresh. That baby is still fresh and I'm still tired. And you're having these weird shifts and I gotta keep this baby asleep. It's the first tinge of single parent dumb. Every class I ask this question, how many communities do we belong to? And family is always brought up. And which is the most important community? And it's always family. But if that's the case, why is our divorce rate so high? How about if you teach them both in the relationship how to win at the relationship so they both get what they want and they're happy and healthy. And if something happens here, they know that when they go home, they have stable uh, people, they have support, they have people that love them unconditionally and will do whatever the next step is. That's what we need. Is there something going on at home? Is a big question.